You should buy a car today. Do you have enough for a down payment? Do you have like 15 grand right now, Astro? Yeah. You buy a car, dude! <laughs> I don't have space for it. Oh my god. He's got money, but no space. Park Can it I at the shop. And then you'll be like, Mark, get your car out of the shop. Mark, I gotta park cool. a set in here. God, that's cool. Okay, well, what's cool to you, not me? An AMG. An AMG is cool. Get a GT. Go get a GT. No. Get a GT. I don't know if I'd want a GT. What would you want an AMG? Would you want that? C63. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I thought about getting uh, my G Wagon, by the way, just so we're clear. Yeah. Is deal pending. My fiance oh, wow. went out and bought, I'll update, my fiance bought a diesel Range Rover Sport. <laughs> oh, nice. That's cool. After a lot of conversation, by the way, the price just plummeted. Like, she got it for like Canadian, a 2019 with 25,000 miles for an US, like. 38 grand. That's cool. Yeah, dude, it's sick. That's really cool. Her payment's like $800 from Canadian. That'll be a fun so, car. She got that. Uh, I don't have a car right now. I have a 2014 Mercedes C300. <laughs> so I don't want a big car pit anymore. Like, I've, I've been through that. I'm over it. I want to save some money. Also, I paid for a private tutor for my daughter. Oh, well, good for I you. I got man. braces coming up. So I got a lot of personal That's cool. That way more important than having a fancy car. Yeah. So I was thinking, what can I get for like. 40,000 Canadian. Yeah. So, like a 2014 15 S550, I can't get an S63. Um, I don't know actually. Yeah. What would what? you get, Mike, if you had $30,000 spent on a family vehicle? Um, wow. Get a Cayenne? You don't want a Cayenne? Get another X5? <laughs> I kind of love the X5, it's pretty good. But they always let me down. Yeah. I had a diesel BMW that lost a fuel pump. It was 23 grand. Whoa. Warranty covered it. Then my warranty expired. Six weeks later, I did it again. <laughs> and BMW's like, well, you put gas in it. I'm like, I didn't think it was going to smell. I'm like, you can smell gas. But yeah, we looked at it. I'm like, send it to a f***ing lab. Yeah. <laughs> I came back and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's diesel. We yeah. looked at it. We swirled our fingers in it. Yeah. My uh, wallet is telling me that this is gasoline. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. yeah, they were dirty about it. That's They're like, nice. yeah, I know. If you smell gas, I'm like, give a receipt for your last couple of fuel. Car. What? And I'm like, no, I don't need to do that. Yeah. The IRS. So that's the problem. I told Court when she got the diesel Range Rover. I'm like, hey, like, the biggest thing is you cannot put gas in this. Yeah. And not that she's dumb, but she never owned a diesel vehicle. Imagine you're like me, and your brain scattered, and you're on the phone, just all these things going on, the kids in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah. It can happen. Yeah. The offset's hard because the pump's wider, but you could put a smaller nozzle in a diesel tank. Yeah. What would happen if you did that? I don't know, honestly. Really? It, uh, yeah, it, it messes things up. What do you know, Mike? I know how to build race cars. I know how to drive them. You ever built a diesel you race do, car? I have not. You do know how to drive them, I'll give you that. Yeah. People are very impressed, uh, the first video of Laguna. By the way, I purposely said it wrong on purpose. I said Laguna Sega. Yeah. I said, oh, I said yeah. Sega. Laguna Sega. Sega. <laughs> Yoist. So we're at Sega. Sega, Yoist, Yoist. Um, people are like, Mike is doing a, called a hard run. While coaching David at the same time while he's running a race car, he's never driven. But people were very impressed. I wasn't. I, I didn't expect you to be. I was like, did you have fun that weekend? It was a lot of fun. It was good to be at the track again with uh, really like not a lot of stress. Just go out, drive the cars, have yeah, fun. There's yeah. no. You know, qualifying no time. There's no, you know, you have to get these things done in practice. It was just go out and drive. So, and how was drifting that track? Oh, it was. I mean, I would say easily the best drifting I've ever done. There's a lot of cool tracks, but that section at Laguna Seca, like from the corkscrew down the hill through turn nine and into turn ten, connecting that section. Like I said, it was it was like a dream that I've had for 20 something years for as long as I've been going to that track like man it would be so cool to slide a car through these corners because it just it connects when you're racing through there you're like on edge the car is sliding through turn nine all the way out to the edge and then you're back to the side through turn 10 like trail breaking in there I knew it would work and it was just like it was an absolute blast and I've been like I went to Yas Marina to the F1 circuit yeah. and we drifted out there um, but this was yeah the, the best drift track ever. The worst part about it was the fact that I got to do a ride along with Mike, and anytime I ever go with Mike in a drift car again, it'll be like, oh, that was really cool. 
<laughs> but it wasn't Lacuna Sega. No, it was it, that was honestly crazy because when you would come down the corkscrew and it was like, all right, we're going this way, and then all of a sudden we're going like kind of backwards. And I'm like, hey, hey Mike, hey, hey Mike, Mike, what are we doing, Mike? <laughs> that was the awesome. only time I felt I, to the point where I started to feel I was getting car sick. Like I wasn't like, Mike, stop! I was like, ooh, I'm ready to go in now. Yeah, yeah and that's. I've been in so many cars with so many drivers as a passenger where it's like, you know, it's cool, but you're not actually scared. At no point was I afraid, but my stomach started to feel it. Yeah. And of course, I was like, ah, yeah. Woo. I, I stopped doing I couldn't frame anything. Yeah. that. If yeah. I was trying to frame that shot, I would have thrown up. Yeah. The best part is you watch someone like Mike and they're just so, it's so uh, natural. Like Mike's not thinking, oh, hold on, what the fuck's going on here? You know what's going on. Yeah. The level of car control at that speed, and of getting close to cars and knowing how close he can get without hitting the car. Or maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's just negligent. He doesn't give a f it's my car. I can this crash if I want to. You know? yeah. It's like, if I crash into somebody, sorry. <laughs> my bad, dog. Why'd you slow down? <laughs> Your bumper's not real. Stop crying about it. <laughs> There's actually a really good picture, but it's it's from far back. Let's see if I can pull it up. Well, when Ashley was in the car with me, we were running tandem. Hi. Sorry, I've been, I've been filming. I was going to Euro car right now to make a video. Why do you shine your That's so cool. Like, what? Stacked. Oh, is that court? Oh, I probably recycled it. I'll text you when I I'll text you when I think it is. Hey, court. But I can't give you the password right now for uh, e-transfer. dog is that scooter? Scooter! I gotta meet Scooter one day. Scooter's the nice one. What's the main one? Can you show the audience the car you bought? factory 22 inch wheels. It's good spec. I like the color. Ooh. That's a nice car. For under 40 grand? That's a sick car. Yeah. That's really cool. US. I can it from the audience. Might cut as well. <laughs> I, bro I broke with the deal, so I took 10%. Uh, I will text you the password for the transfer for obvious reasons I won't say it right now. But it rhymes with phalange. <laughs> what? I'm never broke as long as you owe me money. See the new hat? See the new hat for a new drop? November 10th? The jacket? 6 a.m.? Don't sleep. I really like it. I, like I even got you an extra small. Or a medium in case you want to grow into it. We're all getting married soon. Of course, saying goodbye to you, Mike Essa. Bye. He said bye, but he did it in an annoyed way, like he's busy <laughs> right now. <laughs> bye. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. That Range Rover new would have been like. What? Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's a fucking rover. Really? So she was looking a few months ago at Range Rover. So she had an SQ5. She sold it to her dad, and she was gonna buy an SVR, I think. Yeah. But then I was like, well, I have a G wagon. I just drive the G wagon for now until I sell it. So she's been driving that thing for months. I haven't been driving it. She loved it, and I was like, big payment, I think, not worth it. Yeah. And um, I was like, you know, if you get a Range Rover, get a diesel because all the drive we do back and forth to the island where the girls are, and SVR would suck back fuel. And SVR is also a lot more money. Supercharged. So, she got diesel. Ironically, uh, David and Tasha had a diesel sport. Yeah. 2016, I think it was. Oh, so this was the old model? Uh, older, because they bought it in that time frame. <laughs> but, yeah, she leased it. Easy. Low payment on it for what it is. Yeah. Now, what, what did Dave get? Right, stick with C three hundred. Be humble. Have you driven that car? The Range. Yeah. You like it? Uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's it's a lot bigger than a G wagon. 
Yeah, it's comfortable. It's not the fastest thing to roll, but no. that's not what you're buying. How do I get to where we're going, by the way? Did I take Baker? Yeah. 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 How are you doing right now at home watching this video? Are you in a good place right now? I want you to wake up in the morning. I want you to appreciate all the sad things in your life because to exist is a gift. And to exist and appreciate existing, you have to appreciate when things don't go your way. Which I do a lot of lately. With you can't have the ups without the downs. You would recognize it now without exactly. the down. Are you posting on Instagram right now, Mike? You son of a I bitch. am. What'd you post, Mike? It's I'm, posting, I'm posting that picture of uh, from Laguna. Oh, cool. Yeah. I was like, man, I haven't posted that yet. I need to post that. Yeah. Mike, why don't you ever do reverse entries? Is that, is that hard to do? It's well, effective. It's it's kind of a, it's kind of a touchy subject with some people because some people think that they do reverse entries where they throw the car backwards and they're basically like locked up four tires and they're skidding and they come to almost a complete stop yeah, and, and then they, they do a burnout out of it. and they're like I did a backwards entry no you just no you spun and then you drove out of it so backwards entry is like you flick the car you're at more than ninety degrees as you're entering the corner yeah. but you're on the throttle and you're you carry speed and it's smooth. Yeah. So it's very, very difficult to do it. So you have to throw so much speed and use all the way to the car to throw it against the tires, basically spin it up, and then dig yourself out of the hole. Right? It's it's literally past the point of where you have control. Yeah. So your your steering is full lock, yeah. but the tires aren't pointing in the direction anymore. Now the front tires are sliding also. So you know you've got 60 degrees of steering angle or something, and you are actually the tires are sliding this way because the car is the it looks back crazy. of the car yeah. is leading right yeah so the only control you have is your throttle input so you start to get on the throttle and sometimes it's an on and off like clutch kind of thing to kind of start getting the car to hook up yeah. if you just floor it you'll just spin. you'll just sit yeah. yeah or yeah exactly it won't go in the direction so it's a yeah it's That's it's cool. an art form yeah. and uh when it's done right it's really cool actually i have a video on my on my uh youtube channel yeah. with an entry for my helmet cam in, uh, in Atlanta, I think it was 2012, yeah. in my Z4, which is short wheelbase. But basically, at that event, the judges said, hey, we don't want to see any more backwards entries. We don't like them because people are stalling out. And it's not chaseable. Yeah. So in the meeting, I was like, well, what if I do a backwards entry and I get on the throttle quick and it's fast and smooth? And the judges kind of laughed. And I'm like, well, yeah, I guess if you can do that, you know, I, I, yeah, I guess you're right. So then I went Good out. Good luck. Yeah, <laughs> I went out and qualified and did it. Yeah. Number one qualifier, 98 point run. Jeez. Yeah. That was a that was a good one. Yeah, because for Atlanta, it's that long hill down, and yeah. then it like comes out to. So you'd have to flick it in reverse, handbrake, and like kick yeah, it, it out the other way. It's like you're you're doing like a Scandinavian flick, basically. Like you're coming down the hill, you yeah. you steer right, and you wait the car, and then you flick it to yeah. the other side. And you rotate the car, yeah. and then you're on the brakes to slow the car down, and then you just have to hit the throttle at the exact right time to hit that inside clip. Before you go speed. grass. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That is so cool. That was a good, that was a good time. Hey, watch this. I'm push this guy in the intersection. Do it! Yeah! Do the Yeah! How far let me knock you off not start hitting cars? How many cars could we hit before this thing stops running? A lot. Well, with the cop right there? Oh. <laughs> Full stop, complete stop. Officer! Officer! I apologize! I support you! I salute you, sir! Officer says he bolts over the windshield. Oh shit! <laughs> to be safe, I shot at you. I wasn't sure what you were yelling. Because if you shot back, I would know you're a criminal. Yeah. But if you don't shoot back, you're then you're good. good. Then you're good. You're fine. Yeah. I won't mind. All good. Carry on. Keep driving. We'll get you. The state will buy you a new windshield for the inconvenience. Don't worry. Just submit your receipt. Saw <laughs> oh, an accident on the way to work, and I was in the Uber, and right in front of me, a BMW hit a Honda. Like, boom! Oh. It drove back to the car. Off. I was like, right in front of me. I was like, dude. I said the driver, I'm like, we should stop and help you. I don't have time. Watch over me. Really? I said, they're okay. I watched the mirror and they got out there yelling at each other. That's a bummer. The Honda, like. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a crazy accident, like, it must have been 15 years ago, but I was with one of my clients who was an attorney, right? Mm. So we're in his car, we're driving, and we watch this guy like run a red light and get hit from the side, and it's like an SUV and like a town car, and it was like up on two wheels, almost rolled, 
came to a stop, like all the airbags went off and we're like right at the intersection. I'm like, oh man, should we help him? He's like, no, 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 he drove away really fast. And I'm like, dude, he's like, no, we can't get involved in that. Like we're a witness to this accident. And if it goes into court, we're gonna be called up and we're gonna have to go to court and be there on these days. And this is gonna get dragged on and on. He's like, when you see an accident like that, you just have to leave the scene. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> like That's legal crazy. legal advice. <laughs> Mike, can you fix that later? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Freddy Krueger turned around. You don't say I look like Freddy Krueger by the way. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and personal feelings was funny for you guys. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Sorry, I'm 40. My people, we're not f***ing soft. Go watch the new movie called Old Dads. Oh, so yeah. well done. pretty good. Cause like, I, you guys like, I don't want to rid of somebody a f***ing. You guys like, you can't understand that language. Cause it's like, people that are young now, raise our kids to be like, like you talk about your feelings. When I was a kid, like, I, I run my mouth, I get punched in the face, and I stop running my mouth. And then that was how that worked. I got hit a lot when I was a kid. I'm not a family, but like, in school, you get punched. What's that big deal? Now it's like a thing, right? But when you were homeschooled, did you get beat up by other kids? No. I was always like a foot taller. And so kids were just like, eh, not him. <laughs> it was okay. Can espressos, please? Maybe five, Tim doesn't like them. Maybe just right. five, because Tim doesn't want one. Five, yeah. please. Get him one of those uh, so matcha. Five matcha. And I'll get a grande iced matcha latte for Tim. It's Vietnamese. Grande iced matcha, anything else for it? That's it, please. It's gonna be $35. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't hear them if they were running, right? Yeah, I have to turn them off. I like all the diesels gotta, gotta get push shut this down. Thing. <laughs> no, no, no. I was not gonna push this thing, man. Look at the diesel Range Rover, sounds the exact same. No. That'd be cool. Okay, it's hot, right? What's better on fuel? The diesel Range Rover or the AMG G Wagon? I would assume the Ranger would actually. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> the only problem is right now, like, diesel used to be like a Cheap. dollar less than, like... Yeah, what happened? Than the lowest they rate. They hate the truckers? Yeah. So now it's like, they crank that up. Now it's like they more than premium. They soldier boy. It sucks. We got a lot of diesels. Cool. I can you fix that tomorrow? Like <laughs> 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 that break <laughs> Mike, money, uh... Hey, uh, you fix that? My favorite story is video with Keith the garbage can. I'm running over the door. I'm like, hi. Oh, can you order a new garbage can? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically David. Hey, can you order a new back uh, door for the van? Yeah, did we order one yet? Um, not yet. But I found one on eBay for fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred dollars? Yeah. It's already black, so it doesn't need to get painted. Completely. Bolt on. So we could either do that, or we could try to find. I don't know how much an aftermarket one. Did that be. much damage to the van? Well, that's if we buy that. How's the bumper in your truck? Uh, bent. Just gonna bend it back? Yeah, I'm just bend it back. What did your wife think was that funny? Well, she was egging me on. Was she really? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Hit that loser. <laughs> Damon Fryer spent some more money. We got some wheels for a race car, I assume. That's, uh, that was, that was my doing. You did that? Yeah, I ordered some wheels. What is it? We need more wheels for the uh, Evo 2 race car. That's a wheel? Well, that's, yeah. Where is all the thermals that are bent? Um, so actually, I talked, I talked to Dave from Race Cars for You, and he said he's got a wheel repair guy in SoCal that can straighten those wheels out more. Go pay for it? Yeah, so. he said he wants to make it right. 12 bent wheels is useless. This is trash. What do we get? Wheels! Hey! What's that box different? <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't tell you. Why'd you change the box? I, I can't say anything, man. Hey, hey, I just delivered. Is it true that UPS drivers make $180,000 a year now? Better, is that true? That's, that's including with their, uh, Overtime? With their pensions. Oh, uh, the pensions. They, they make about like $140,000. So uh, do, you want, do you want more for UPS or is FedEx better? Um, I think it's all. If it's, it's easier to get in the FedEx than it is to get in the UPS. Hmm. Really? It takes you three years just to get, it takes you three to four years to get in the UPS. And it takes FedEx two weeks. You like it? Is this your truck or their truck? This is their truck, oh, but so this you... is my personal, basically. 
Yeah. You don't own the truck. It's I do. I okay, so you're an employee. Yeah. That's cool. So you have no stress that way. If it yeah. breaks, you get another one. Ground guys are owned by contractors. Uh, so FedEx Ground is basically the name, and then contractors buy the routes. Really? Yeah. So we're third party. Express is owned. Oh, I didn't and, know that. And then, so you work for a private company that, that contracts to FedEx. Yep. A&L Delivery. Yep. And they're, good, they're good to you. They treat, those are the best guys that treat you. Should I call them? Will we call them? Huh? I'll call them. You'll call them? I'll call them put a good word for you if you want. Uh, I don't care, man. Hey, I just I love it. i put a bad word if you want. No, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know about that one. That yeah. one no, 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 no. Yeah. You're good on that one. No, you're good. You want, you want a water? Huh? You want a water or you good? Three grand? Uh, my life. Yeah, but it's the same price as a set of tires. Uh, Too less. We need to get a tire sponsor for the track days. How do we do that? Yeah, we do. But the McLaren tires that you ran, are those dead now? No. Oh, no. They're good for a few more track days of, you know, getting you in the car. You get to drive your own car. That'd be nice. Yeah. I told him on the phone I want to do, like, a uh, button wheel or something like that for the day. Yeah, let the, let the plan it out and get both cars out there. I'll look at December. I'm here a lot in December. So, this is a big month for us is ad revenue. And then what I'll do is I'll go home. I have my kids at 15th to 22nd. Because I used to have my kids and then they went home Christmas day at noon, but I hated it. So now I'm like, okay, we'll do Christmas early. So I have them the 15th to the 23rd. Yeah. And then I'll come back here probably the 26th to the 31st with Port. So I can make some videos here and there and then have some time. Yeah. So, should work out. Yeah. Holidays are tough, man. They did a great job on that. Make a video every day. Doing all the holidays. Yeah. Ooh, I love it though. I'm not complaining. Don't make like, comments like, oh, Dave all does complains. No. On this channel, I tell you the actual hard part running a massive business like DD. I'm not complaining. I'm letting you guys know how it goes. If I was complaining, I would do it with no merit. There's merit right now. So, and sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes we make th maybe three videos in one day once. If we upload every other day, three videos in one day means the whole week's covered. And so we start doing daily uploads that really screws us. Would you guys love a daily upload? But it just robs us of content. Yeah. And we upload, what's cool is like, I think now we're three months now with a video every day between the two channels. Name one channel at this level that's doing daily uploads. It doesn't that's, exist. That's just insane. I still think it's insane that I'm here filming every day. It's still insane. What if we tried this? 7 a.m., 7 p.m. daily upload. Two a day. Double daily. If I'm they out. watched it, we would, if Damon would do it. If they would watch it, we'd be doing that. 6 a.m. main channel, 6 p.m. behind the scenes channel every day. Do you know how hard that would be? We need we need a lot more people. Or less. That's this. Timsources.com powered by DDE. Somebody sent that to us in the Oh mail. my god. Is that website still exist? Yes. Should we start we should probably go buy some torches and actually sell them on there and see what kind of torch business we can do for Tim. Yeah. We'll out? buy them for 80 bucks a torch, sell them for 60 to cut down the market. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't finish it that night? No. Oh. We made it back to the hotel. There was eight years. of us drinking out one bottle of tequila. You guys made it back though. Well, I actually I did too. Hey, you didn't <laughs> come back with us. We all Ubered for some reason. It was weird. Like, why were you, we were in bed by 10 o'clock. Yeah. I was looking at I was like, oh, oh man, we're in night. <laughs> <laughs> I was in bed by like three. Yeah. It took forever to find an Uber. I don't like that part. Like I like going places and if I want to leave, I want to leave. I hate like, oh, Uber won't come here. I'm like, I'm out. But we all had drinks, so we didn't drive, obviously. When are you 21, by the way? Saturday. Sat I'm not gonna be here, dude. Oh, dude, we're oh. When you're leaving? Let's party. Friday. Oh. I have to go. Uh, we have a gala a charity event in Kelowna. My fiance signed us up for, and then I've got engagement photos on Tuesday. Then Thursday morning, fly to Miami for a rally. Nice, damn busy man. What's the theme for the engagement photos? Holy. Evil. Uh, you can have it medieval, yeah. I'll put a head on the stick. On a boat? Oh. <laughs> Fishers. You like that clock? Sean's never seen What the <laughs> is this? Hey, Sean, what time is it, bro? I can't tell, dude. It's too I like when the blinds open at night and neighbors look in, they're like, what is going on in that office? Like, That's pretty wild. We gotta get a big countdown and just not tell anybody what it's for. You have four hours to get to a safe <laughs> space, dude. <laughs> get a doomsday clock on the wall. Do they make like, a bigger one work? I don't believe so. This one's six feet. How much was it? Yeah, I was about to ask that. Uh, I kind of want one. High ones? That's not bad. High ones or low twos? It's like super cheaply made. It's a hundreds? 
100. Or like, you're talking 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like low 200 or high 100, something like that. Yeah, it's on my Amazon. They make bigger ones? I don't think so. I think I this one's like an 18-foot clock. <laughs> this is 72 inches on. Dude, I'll put that up in the How shop. How would they ship an like 18-foot clock? Here's what you do. You now get one pick it up. for every time zone, and you just put it all throughout the house. You lie on the floor, pour uh, that shit on top of it, so it's resin? like resin, and yeah. you walk on all the clocks. Yeah. Damn. Every, and everybody you gets epilepsy. Is this battery, or you plug it in? This one's on batteries. No, you plug it in. Where's the plug? Did you run? Oh, look at you. I don't like hanging wires. It drives me nuts. Yeah. It drives me absolutely crazy seeing a wire. Like, I have a friend named Chris. They'll buy a TV and be wire hanging down. I'm like, bro, kills me. Can't wait to see your bedroom. We're gonna do a stories video tour of Mike's of Mark's bedroom. It's pretty clean. I actually had the weekend off, so I got to clean it. I just got a message from Mr. JWW in the My Great God. UK. Yo, random one. <laughs> what is the name of the app that you use that you can see airplanes in the sky? Oh, Sean. Oh, oh dude. Flight radar. Flight radar. Flight radar twenty four. Whatever. Yeah. Does that work in the UK? That's the one. He's in Virginia. Oh yeah. What? That's cool. Flight radar twenty four. For sure, flight radar. Hold on. Yeah, I got it right here. Why does he need to track planes? He's in Virginia, so he wants to see the planes for cops. Because you see a cop, you can see the plane doing this next to the freeway. That means it's probably a. Ah, makes sense. Sean, you're into aviation, right? Are you really? Yeah. Do you have a pilot's license? Uh, working on it. Really? Yep. That's cool. Yeah. How how working on it are you on a scale of one to ten? Are you like how, are you actually doing it? Or are you well, like, well, I got the this book. That's one of the reasons I quit FD. Oh yeah. It's just taking too much time because I, I finished all my my ground school stuff, mm -hmm. so I just need to get in a plane. And that. Do you want to be a commercial pilot or just for fun? Yeah, commercial pilot. That's cool. Eventually. I have a buddy who does private stuff. Dude, those guys make so much money. Doing uh. He doesn't. He has his rating for like a G five fifty, I think. See that? And I'd rather go into like charter, like private charter stuff, yeah. but. I mean, his day rate is three grand. Depends. So you want him? It's two thousand dollars a day. Yeah, and then plus all the other bull comes with it. So he works a few days here and there, and he's like, "I'm good for now." Yeah, it's real money. I mean, he's he's forty. He's been flying for a long time. So how do you book that? Do you reach out to him and you're like, "Hey, I need to go from here." They to They have here. basically a network where you put your availability in, and then you have like a broker that brokers it up. But if you want to be busy, you're always busy. Yeah. Because now the big airlines are grabbing those pilot, private guys because there's no one left to fly the big planes, offer a bunch of money. So the private sector is losing pilots like crazy. Because you offer some union gig making like 300 grand a year plus full yeah. pension for like eight days of flying. Yeah, retired, probably more than that. Uh, yeah. yeah, like there's a big pilot shortage right my, now. My 13 year old daughter wants to be a pilot. I'm like, you're, cool. you're a girl and you're 13. Yeah. So like you literally have the perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. like. That's dude, awesome. Get it, start getting into it now. Yeah. Like, yeah. dude, there's, there's some, like, chicks I see on Instagram, they're, like, 18, already, like, commercial instrument ratings, like, all of that stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm like, damn, dude, I should have started. Because airlines have to hit the boxes so there's a diversity program now. Every airline, that's no secret. So being a girl will give her a one-up because there's not as many girls going for as men. Historically, I don't know if it's changed now. So, but, yeah, you look like, at pilots, and, look at captains. They're all old white dudes, yeah. and they're all retiring. Well, well, the thing is, is, like, during COVID, when they had trouble filling the planes, they a lot of the airlines offered early retirement to a lot of the pilots. So now it's like things pick back up and there there's like a huge shortage. Yeah, that makes sense. Like I saw this study from Boeing. They forecasted a need for like six hundred and fifty thousand uh, pilots by like twenty thirty. So like right now it's a good time. Yeah. All right. So speaking of pilots, you're flying out. What time are you? Do you have to be there at seven or your flight's at seven? Be there at seven. Be there. Okay. That's easier. Because oh. we need to review a video and film two promos. Uh, I might not give a film. Well, I'll probably could. I might be able to do the one organic in tomorrow's video. Okay. Uh, cool. Main channel, right? Not the stories yeah. promo? Yeah. yeah. We could do the behind the scenes one tonight. That's easy. Yeah. But then we'll have to get to a blood transfusion. Let's peel his wrap, Mark, so he changes color. He'll here. love that. He'll love it. You open the door for him? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm the door. Carbon technology for carbon wraps. That was incredible. I know, look at it. It looks, it looks like carbon. It's good, man. Do the whole thing carbon. Air fire. All right. Looks good, right? Yeah, looks good. Fake carbon? Oh, shoes don't match. Do they? Oh, they do match. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's why I got them. Just oh, that's cool. A little offset. I like it. What's up? So why are you here again? What happened? What's up? <laughs> Uh, I gotta wrap these because when they were washing it, they high pressured it. The clear oh, no. coat came off. See? So oh, I gotta wrap no. it. It's not nothing big. It just sucks. Figure why the hell not. This looks good. I might even wrap the real carb in the fake because this looks better than real almost. So, yeah. Why not? Do the whole thing fake carbon. The whole carbon. Is it expensive the material? Yeah, it's expensive. What's a roll? Two grand. Hmm. And you don't get that much. Yeah. A little bit, not Did that you do much. The whole car? I thought about doing the whole car, but if you mix it with real and fake, I didn't know if it no, would No, do the whole thing good. fake. Do the wheels. Just do everything in the wheels. Yeah, we'll talk so much shit to you. That'll last. Yeah, I got a lot of shit talking Is Garrett's wheels or is yours? No, it's mine. did powder coat is, though. Hey, if you want a torch, timtorches.com has all torches right now. They shipped them already running. See? Yeah, it's a torch company. My man, you? Yes. Mark made it. Oh, I'm going to need some. Seriously, sure. go to timtorches.com. It's a real website. You can buy a torch off Tim. Okay. He's low inventory right now. He has none. Well, <laughs> all right, all right. There you go. Yeah, honestly, I will eat it, though. <laughs> I always need these. Yeah, so that looks like so. shit. <laughs> so what's, what are you doing right now? I'm just wrapping this. The shop is too far away. You wrap right it down the black? street. I'm going to do the carbon. Oh, sick. Yeah, that'll so look good. Got the whole carbon in here. Dude, you going to give us a wrap? You know, I got, got all the carbon. Pull it out. You said that uh, roll was how much? Two grand. <laughs> Technically 1975, but... How much was it again? This is the this is the stuff on the roof. Are you doing the mirrors? Yeah. You can stretch it and shit won't look all fed up? Uh you can. <laughs> it's a little easier if you dry apply it, because this is PPF. It's not um it's not wrapped. Oh. Oh, can you wrap that our Dodge minivan in all carbon? You want all carbon on the Dodge Fully minivan? Exposed carbon <laughs> minivan. That, that would be awesome. And then we'll do a regular aluminum roof. Taking off? Yeah, my Uber's already here. Right there, actually. Going to the hotel? Going to Vegas. Oh, you're Just leaving today? Yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to ship this out. I'm supposed to leave today, too. I'm going on that semi private bull right now if you want to come with me. What is it? JSX. You're going to. Oh, you're. Oh, JSX to fly to Vegas? Yeah. Your Uber's leaving. Your Uber's leaving. Oh, he's going to back in here. Well, I would, but I got my girl. Well, let's go. And she's in here right now. And then, oh, sh are you okay? She's in the trunk. Put the AC on for her, dude. <laughs> she's in the trunk. The trunk. She's in the trunk. I'm oh, good. Um, yeah. I will be out there. I gotta figure out how to tell this. I'm here till I leave tomorrow oh, five. I'm only on for 22 hours to make a video with Matt Armstrong. Oh, and then you're coming back? Mm. You're not staying for the whole thing? For what? It seems boring, dude, for us. Yeah. Hey, this is the all new. <laughs> we gotta run. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you, bro. Have a good fight. See you, fourth wall. See you, bro. Later. Hey, see you, bro. Hey, I'll see you, bro. I'll see you, bro.